There you go. Dirk, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, Chris. Back for season three, are we? Looks like it. Okay. G'day, everyone. Welcome back to Measure Twice, Cut Once. Uh, season three, episode one. Yes. And we've had four weeks off. And we've had four weeks off. Doesn't feel like it, does it? Nah, never does, mate. No. no. Um, I'm Dirk from Sumo's Projects on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And uh, next to me is a Delaware Destroyer, the one and only <laughs> George, George Thorogood. He's a Delaware Destroyer, isn't he? Is he? Alright. Chris Zurek, he's yeah. also found on other places. Where, yeah. where are you found? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, Instagram. Uh huh. Uh, Facebook. Really? And various police stations around the country. Yeah, those mug shots, they go a yeah. long way, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> they do. So, we had four weeks off. What have you been up to? Mate, um, we're going to have to do this properly, alright? This is the intro, we're doing the intro. Yeah. So let's do the intro properly. Right. And then we'll do the... What did you do last week? Okay. What did you do last week, dude? <laughs> You want to kick off, Chris, or do you want me to tell you what I've been up to? No, you tell us what you've been up to. Right, I've been busy. I got back reacquainted with the workshop because yeah. uh, we haven't been doing this. So no, um, yeah, making a few videos for a company at the moment. Um, that's good. That sort of uh, kept me engaged. Yep. As I know you do from time to time. Yes. And um, yeah, that's been really you know interesting and a different way to look at making videos for me. Mm -hmm. yep. But um. Yeah, and apart from that, just uh, the normal life, you know. Um, but in the interim, I think you put up some videos too. I did, yes. I put up a, um, a Best of Our Guests yep. video uh, on, on Measure Twice, Cut Once. Yep. And also a blooper reel. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the, you brought back the shock factor in one of those. Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. Sorry, audience. Yeah, I know. <laughs> If you've seen it, you'll know what we're talking about. I know, I know. Um, the other thing that I've been doing in my time off mm -hmm. is uh, learning how to use the CNC machine properly. Really? Yeah, gone through and um, yep. uh, just learned all the, the bits and pieces. I've had uh, a couple of people come around and have a look at it as well, yeah. uh, which they're very interested in. One guy actually, actually bought one. Um, but we, uh, Adam, who owns Blue Calf CNC, where I, get the, where I got the machine from, He's going to have a um, an owner's night. Wonderful. A blue calf CNC owner's night. Which okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to make it towards that. And, uh, and it's just a get, a get together of all blokes you know, that have got one, you know, yeah. how they do this, how they do that, you know, the, yeah. all the bits and pieces to it. So. Isn't that a great thing? But, like, if you, you know, I mean, CNC is a fair bit involved with that. But if you had more meetups in different parts of machinery and people having workshops, yep. like little clubs, you know, yeah. car clubs have the. Uh, Meetups and rallies and that it'd be good to be able to do that. I think so. I think we might. Why don't we organise something like that one day? Let's let's try. Maybe, yeah, just maybe. to put a little bit more on our plate. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so. moving right along. Yeah, moving along. Um, let's talk about our partners just mm -hmm. quickly. Yep. We have uh, Nathan at Hammeru. Nathan at Hammeru and Scott from Creative uh, Custom, Custom Creative. Creatives. Yep. Creations. Yep. Creations. Yep. Um, but we've also got uh, a couple of guests on today, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, who would they be? Nathan from Hammeru and Scott from Custom Creations. Oh, so deja vu. Deja vu. I know. Isn't that? Uh, isn't that uh, funny? Yeah, I, I don't know how that worked. I know. Neither do I. Did you invite them? Uh, no, well, I don't like them. They're in <laughs> Brisbane. Did they come, are they coming here? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. They're, they're in Brisbane. Right? Okay. Got to, got to mention the challenge that's going on on YouTube yes. at the moment, Chris. Mention the challenge quickly. Who's who's running it? James Finger. Yep. He's got a hashtag WoodJigs21 challenge. So it's about making the most creative uh, jig for your woodworking shop that you can. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, so... Um, be, be creative, be inventive. But not boring. But don't be boring. Don't just do a table saw sled like everyone else does. Yeah. Um, 30 videos which is yeah of table saw sleds <laughs> that'd, that'd be a good one good challenge yeah <laughs> alright well I think we better say g'day to the guests yeah let's let's get into let's hook into that oh, let's do it alright so on measure twice cut once today Chris we've uh, got the honour to be able to speak to a couple of fine gentlemen up in Brisbane town uh, these two gentlemen are actually partners to uh, the show. Uh, are you talking Nathan Scott? Yeah, I am. Oh, wow. How would you know that? 
Because it's written on the screen there, I can see. Ah, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> it is written on the screen. Um, so last season we sort of, oh no, actually season one, um, we sort of reached out a little bit about this thing, having a, a partnership uh, to our program, and it's not necessarily, some people might say, oh, is it a sponsorship? No, it's not. It's it's a long way away from that, yep. and that being we want to do a little bit in our part where we can help sort of uh, promote, you know, yeah. upstart companies, the small Australian companies who are uh, willing to have a red-hot go and, um, you know, for that. And in return, they've been really good to us. Um, they have, yes. Nathan is from Hamaru yep. up in Brisbane, and he has a store up there, um, and he, he p- contributed – I think it was a two hundred dollar voucher. Two hundred dollar voucher for the first year. Yeah. Very generous. Very yep. generous. Yep. And also last season we had uh, Scott from Custom Creations jump on board, and he's equally as nice. And he's in Brisbane as well. And they're just rubbing in that the weather's about twenty four degrees up there, and as we're shivering down here. But <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So look, without further ado, we'd like to welcome Nathan from Hamaru and Scott from Custom Creations. G'day, guys. Hey, how you going, guys? There you go. Good, good, good. How's everything going up there? Good? You're busy? Always busy. Not enough hours in the day. Trying to be busy. <laughs> Jeez, I actually thought um, when they got on screen that the, the, the wall behind them might be epoxy or something, you know, um, at, a, at a thousand grit and shining. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it, almost, it almost looks like the back of my workshop, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. yeah. Copycats. I need um, I need money for that. You know, you've copyright <laughs> infringement there. <laughs> hey, so look, guys, um, Chris and I really want to know a little bit about your background and uh, basically what made you decide to, you know, invest your time and effort and energies into doing what you're doing now uh, with your business, you know, as you go forward. So I suppose, Nathan, you want to kick off how you got into all this caper? Yeah, so um, I started from, you know, pretty much as soon as you could hold a hammer, um, always mucking around with granddad in the shed, um, nailing bits of wood together. Um, went through school, did all the woodwork and stuff through school, um, lost touch for a couple of years. Um, and then dad got into, um, you know, building and welding a little bit more, so the metalwork side, and then um, decided that wasn't so much for me. And then uh, bought the place here and, yeah, started uh, doing woodwork as part of the renovation and on the side, sort of little side business to make a bit extra cash to do that. And, um, yeah, it's grown from there. And he's done well. And he's done very yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Scott, yourself, how did you start? Uh, I've always had a passion for woodworking um, and my uh, great-grandfather was a woodworker um, and my grandfather was a leatherman. So, um, yeah, so I don't mind a bit of leather work in there as well. Um, but I actually started turning. I joined um, the Bribe Island Turners Association at the age of 10 and uh, started turning then. Oh. So. Another wood turner, Chris. Another wood turner. I, mm. look, I, I'll let you know. I, my first lathe is uh, the one that I've got now, the little um, mini lathe. Um, yeah. I never had an interest in it at all. In, in wood turning, I thought there's no way I'm ever going to do you know do any wood turning. But then I watched um, there's a guy on YouTube called RJB Wood Turner, and okay. uh, and he does he does pens and all that sort of stuff. And I, I watched that and I've gone you know what geez I reckon I can do that, and uh, and it's been an obsession ever since. So you know you never never say never in in this caper I reckon. Yeah. So both both of you blokes are up in Brisbane, yeah. Are, are, are you sort of have you been mates for a while, or is it that you just got in touch with each other once you know you, you learned there was a, a supplier of woodworking stuff? Or well, how did it come well, about? You know, there was a guy uh, doing a, a slab sale, and we would sort of just chatted um, online on through Facebook, and we met at his place, and then we came back here, and I did a demonstration of my products to Nathan. Yeah, he um, spent, a, spent a full day sanding a heap of boards and and then end, end of the day we were mates. Yeah. <laughs> as easy as that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Now I can't yeah. get rid of him. <laughs> I should, yeah, well, I should tell you the story about how I met this uh, this bloke. 
You know, like uh, there was one one morning I was just watching uh, YouTube and you know searching searching YouTube for the Aussie makers, and and I come across Sumo's projects. And I'm going, oh, what the hell is, is this? And then he started talking. I'm going, oh well, an Aussie, okay. Well, you know, we're we're on the right track here. And yeah. then I got up and um uh, and headed off to uh, Timbercon that morning, and lo and behold, he was walking around the store. And um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since then, we I introduced myself to him, and since then, we've been uh, pretty good mates as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that little bit of um, footage at the start of our. Uh, introduction to measure twice cut once you see chris and i out the front of timacon and we we captured that moment we just had a bit of a yak i got it on film and uh, you know we've taken the audio out of it it was mm. basically about you know spending each other's money and it just worked <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah it still works that way mm. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah so yeah we then now you know like uh, few seasons ago we started the measure twice cut once and uh chris and i i don't know we bounce off each other a little bit like you fellas are doing which is uh you know this it's top notch so um as far as uh so the business uh nathan we'll start with you mate we'll drill yeah. you first um the how did you get into like uh setting up a business because that, that can be quite a daunting thing um you know the logistics uh, the outlay uh, you, have you got a warehouse? Tell us all about that sort of thing, mate. Yeah, so um, at the moment it's kind of got into it um, one thing at a time. So I started with um, the Osmo Oil. So uh, up here in Brizzy, there's surprisingly no stockers of the Osmo Oil. Um, so I, I wanted to use it, couldn't find it anywhere, so I reached out to them. Um, and then it's sort of just grown from there. Um, anything that I personally would, would use, um, I'll go to the supplier and say, hey, um, can I stop this product kind of thing? Um, obviously start in small batches with it and then um, work up from there. And, and, and well, what? how many products have you got now or what's your main products that you can... Um, so I've got about um, six or seven core products um, from, you know, um, leading brands like, yeah, I've got Black Diamond Pigments for the resin, um, the Health of Mind resin. Um, I've got Carving Tool, the router bits. Uh, I've got Scott's Custom Grit. Um, what else have we got? Oh, there's a fair few different nice. products. Um, the Osmo. Um, yeah, so pretty much uh, your one-stop shop kind of thing. I, I noticed, you know, the... the I've, I've made mention of this a few times on the show. I haven't got any free samples in any of that stuff yet. So. <laughs> I was going to say, it's funny how he brushes over. He says black diamond pigments. Mind you, he's the only guy that's got, like, uh, the entire range of black diamond pigments. <laughs> <laughs> There's over 100 colours there to choose from. And, and I've got none of them. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to keep at him. No, no, no. I, I want a free sample. I'm, I'm just, you know, blatant about it. I want a free sample. You, you've just chewed off the hand that feeds you, mate, because you keep saying buy everything in his store, so he's got nothing to send you. I know. You're right. <laughs> Quick, buy him in before Chris wants everything. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want something for free, God damn it. <laughs> um, what about well, Chris? The, uh, the the custom grid, yeah. The custom grid, yeah. You got a bit of that, yeah. No, I've got all of it. I'm not giving you any of that. <laughs> <laughs> that friendship, you know, that thing we have. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll show you back all your tools in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, mate, what about yourself? What's what's the apart from the grid? Um, what, what sort of stock? range have you got you know that you're willing you're wanting to sell and advertise and get out to the the masses here in australia what name some of those so, and how they work so other than my uh my finishing products so i actually uh on my website i've actually got candles and melts uh i have over 150 different scents to choose from um and so you pick your pick your scent you pick your color and you pick how strong you want the candle to be as well so they're fully custom made if you, if you like strawberry candles and you go somewhere and they've only got pink strawberry candles and you want a blue one, well, Custom Creations will make a blue strawberry candle for you. Oh. Oh, yeah. So is that is that um, 
and I'm, I'm asking for a reason, all right, mm -hmm. is that to mask other smells? Fatworks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They don't get a lot of oil. <laughs> yeah. So the um, but the other thing I do is I wholesale to other companies with my candles, and I also do essential oils as well. Oh, okay. So I actually specialise in waxes and, and oils. Something for you, Hoss. What? Essential oils, waxes. Hey, eh? take the tip. Uh, the nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use his grit on me. Uh, <laughs> that polish yeah. up real well. <laughs> <laughs> when when that candle is actually burning, it burns evenly, so you don't actually have wastage in the wax as well. So there's a lot of um, work gone into actually getting not only the candle to to melt properly, but the, did you see the cool effect that's actually in the candle as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can you can explain that in the next minute. <laughs> okay. What cool effect? What cool effect? Just just. Sort of but right. well, you actually have to buy one of the candles to actually witness and free see. free stuff. I want free stuff. <laughs> you want free stuff. <laughs> You'll burn the house down. I'll burn the house down. Uh, that's why there's a, there's a sticker on the bottom of the um, the, the jar. <laughs> All right. Now, I might, actually, um, Warning I'm actually. I'm I'm going to be asking. The, you've got a website as well, haven't you, Scott? Yes. Yep. So we're gonna. We'll, we'll, I mean, I've, I've been posting all that on there anyway, so everyone knows about it. Um, so all your products are on there. Um, all your candles, all the different types, and yeah, the, the candles and the, the melts and the, and the finishing products are all on the website. Um, all right, a lot cool. of the essential oils at this stage are mainly I do for wholesale for other companies. But I actually do all their right. branding. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, I'm going to jump on board and I'm going to buy a couple. Okay. Yep. Because you're not going to send me one for free, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if I was made of money, I would. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, look, I'm only kidding. You, are, you all know I'm kidding. So it's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, mate, the, the candles are fantastic, right? Uh, I, I, I got a bold one, which you call the bold, which is probably releases the most, you know, fragrance. Yeah. And um, well, it would need to, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I'll bring it down here and I'll put it on. So, what know, are you saying? There's good karma oh, in, shit, in, the, in the house. But um, there's a how, how do you get that sort of uh, pattern? And you know, like it, it's quite good to watch it burn. You get some unique effects. And how do you do that? It's a trade secret. <laughs> oh, that's what the answer you gave us before. <laughs> well, no other candle maker does it. So, I kind of keep it to myself. No. But it's, uh, right. it, it's, no, definitely, no. it's definitely it's definitely visually pleasing. If, if you if you want to be like that, <laughs> um, <laughs> now I've I've chatted to Scott uh, a couple of times. You're, you're back. You have a background in science. Yes. Yeah. yeah material yeah. science. Yeah. Okay. What? Sorry. What does that mean? Material science. Explain that. So the way that um, atoms and molecules react to each other and, and bond and and, and separate. So what you're basically saying is you're too smart to be on this show. <laughs> I work for a big, very, very big company making very lucrative, expensive products. <laughs> well, not so much lucrative, but very expensive products. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to elaborate on that. I I, uh, I worked for Boral Concrete for many years, um, okay. designing, designing concrete mixes and helping with. Um, the, the different types of um, blend uh, uh, mixes that were designed for bridge work and and that sort of stuff. You see, for, to to the lay person like myself, I mean, for me, concrete is concrete. Yeah, mm, yeah. There's there's all different types. You know, like um, yeah, and same as asphalt. Asphalt. Oh. Yeah, so before uh, concrete, I was actually doing asphalt, and even oh. even that there's there's a science to asphalt that most people don't understand. There's actually layers. Um, and they like got different like rubberized um, uh, material like materials through them. Um, so like the highways, the water actually goes through the first few layers and then actually washes it up uh, above the top of the bottom layer. So the water actually drains through the road and out to the sides. Oh, so it okay. stops aquaplaning. Maybe, oh. Maybe you can send us down a sample of that so we can harden up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already rock hard. 
That's uh, that doesn't sound right, does it? Is it a family show? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's a good-looking fellow, isn't he? <laughs> you know, yeah, no, as soon as as soon as I said that, I thought, nah, you've said the wrong yeah. thing there. <laughs> yeah, I might have to edit that out. So, <laughs> yeah. when I say rock hard, I mean, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, uh, moving right along. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> this um, I'm tongue tied. Um, different aspects of going into business. Now, Nathan, Nate, we we see that you um, quite heavily um, advertise in on Instagram, Facebook, um, where else you you know you, you want to promote your products. Um, is that something that you find uh, is beneficial to the overall you know uh, sort of market share that you want to create? Yeah, yeah. So um, by advertising, basically, even if a person scrolls past it and doesn't have a look at it, real good look, you're always sort of in the back of their mind like, oh, I'd love to do that one day. Um, I'll come back to it. Um, by seeing, you know, the more um, visual that you get your name out there, it's more the likelihood, um, you know, like you hear a radio commercial, um, you hear that and they go, oh, I'll have a look at them later. If you don't hear them until hear that commercial again for a week, um, you kind of forget about it and do the same thing over and over. Um, the more you can sort of be not exactly in someone's face, but on their feed, you know, interacting with them, um, the more likely they're going to remember you, um, even just to have a look. Where where do you find it is the most successful place to advertise in? in the social media world as far as, you know, does Facebook give you a return on uh, advertising? Yeah, definitely. So your, your social media is um, Facebook and Instagram are obviously the two big ones. Um, I personally, you know, you see a lot of ads on there, um, especially from smaller woodworkers as well, which is really good to see. Um, you know, it's I, even if I don't personally buy something from them, I go on there, check them out, give them a like as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's good sort of community connection as well. Yeah, we we've seen uh, Ainsley on one of the video do use some epoxy purchase from from you, Scott. Yeah, hmm. I don't sell epoxy. I just sell oh, the. Uh, was that, was that from you, Nathan? She uh, did. She did give a shout out about. Um, he definitely used the custom grit in, in her video. It must have been that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that's good. Like, you know, I mean, obviously, that uh, obviously Ainsley enjoys using that. And, you know, hopefully that can give you a little bit of a, a sort of promotion as well. But how, how, how do you, Scott, go in promoting what you have and where do you advertise? So I, I will run um, my own Facebook ads um, when I can. Uh, it just it comes down to when I have the, the working capital to allow me to do so. Um, yeah, I'm not not making lots of money right now, but I'm kind of living on like 200 bucks a week. Well, you can build on that, mate. Yeah, you know, you can always yeah, build up for a little bit of extra on the side there. Yeah, the cash. that's yeah. the aim. So, but yeah, so when, when, when I've got some working capital, I, I, I'll run some Facebook ads and that sort of stuff. But the other thing I, I, I do um, more so is with my products, there's a hashtag for the, for using the product, hashtag custom grip. Um, people that use that hashtag, I um, I then reshare their posts so other, other people out there can actually see the work that they're doing as well. And, you know, that way if someone's interested in buying a, a board or someone that makes tables or that sort of stuff, they 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 know where they can go to get a good quality table because I've reshared it. Yep. Yeah. And and I've seen Nathan does some really good work. Like you, you make some boards and that. Uh, yeah. you got you got a you got that beautiful Laguna thicknesser, haven't you? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So got got the thicknesser, got the uh, picked up a bandsaw last week. Um I love yeah, love it's more so for my hobby side um, rather than um, a business side for that side of things. Um, but, yeah, love, love doing the woodwork. It um, gives me something to get away from just packing boxes, shipping out orders. 
Um, you know, my I have a full time job as well, so you know, something to clear the head on that. Okay. What do you do? Do you mind sharing what you do? Yes, yeah, so I'm actually a uh, night manager of a pub, so I work there um, full time as well. Um, yeah, six, six o'clock starts usually, and I'm um, finishing when the sun's coming up. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You are. Yeah. Well, yeah. you go to the pub, don't you? I go to the pub sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, a few ales every now and then. Yeah. I've, I've, been, I've been known to bend the elbow a little bit in my day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where, where do you see foresee the future for you two fine gentlemen? Like, uh, are you are you hoping, or do you think that you will have success in in your endeavours? Um, you know, like it's it's a tough nut to crack, but if, anyone who goes into business should be congratulated because it's a it's a hard it's a hard trawl, you know, trying to get to the top of the food chain, so to speak. Um, are, you, are you confident that? The products that you sell will, you know, hopefully get you into a full time uh, position of being able to sell that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So um, definitely, that's um, definitely on the cards. Probably in the next few months, um, and yeah, hopefully uh, keep building upwards and onwards. And Scott, and you too. And myself, this is my full time gig. Um, so it's not just the products that I already do. I'm actually currently developing new products as well. So there's going to be more finishing products coming out um, in the following months. Beautiful. So these guys are in the science, mate. They're, they're, they're clever, but they won't tell us. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keeps his couch very close to his chest, doesn't he? Eh? Just be careful if he sends you a freebie, mate. Just yeah. open it slowly. <laughs> take a water. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> This, this is like a glitter bomb or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be nice. Yeah. All right, well, is, uh, is there anything else you want to ask the, the young young lads? No, I don't want to ask, but I just want to thank you personally from us uh, and, and to the audience for uh, actually just being a partner to our show. We, we appreciate it more than we can say on, on camera, but, you know, we, we set out to say we're part of the community as you are and as are the people who watch the show. Yep. And if we can all combine and, you know, if it's an occasional sale for you fellas or if we can have a giveaway or keep promoting your word, your yep. business. That's it. If we if we can help you guys grow, that's that's what we're here for. Yep. That's that's what we, want, what we want to do. That's our ultimate goal is to help you guys grow as well. What is it, Chris? Is it the... From, no, don't do that. We'll get, we'll get sued. <laughs> don't do that. Helping hands. It's your plan. Helping hands. Oh, helping hands. Helping hands. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. No, it's been it's been fun to catch up with you, and uh, we, we're going to have them on again, aren't we? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Maybe we can talk about different subjects, but yeah, today we wanted yeah, yeah. to introduce you yeah. as uh, the fun yeah. partners we have. We'll definitely have you on again, uh, and and very soon. So uh, thanks very much for your time. Yeah. You're all right. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate the uh, eyes. That was that was a pretty good conversation with the boys. It was, yeah, yeah. a lot of fun that one. I tell you what, they're uh, <laughs> they, they've got a bit of a sense of humour and have a chuckle. Don't they, they do, yep, yep. They can laugh and uh, have a good time as well. And they're, they're good mates. I didn't even know, I didn't know they knew each other. No, no. So, I, I, I did know, but um, yeah, it was just uncanny that when we first invited partners onto the show, they happened to know each other. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So. No, it turned out well. Yeah. Uh, Nathan at uh, Hamaru and Scott at Custom Creations, thank you guys for coming on. Yep. And um, and sharing the product ranges they got too. They've got some good for stuff, sure. haven't they? Yep, for sure, they do. And you've um, used it. I've used it. Uh, this is the um, the custom grit. Yep. Step one and step two, which uh, is going to live here. Yeah, yeah, it'll be half empty when it's on You're not getting any of it, don't you? You're not yeah, going to worry about a thing. Yeah, well. So, um... What, what's going on next week? What are we doing next week? I don't know. So next week, Chris. Next week, next week. Let's talk about what we're doing next week. It's another special one, isn't it? It is. It's um, it's one of the first of the panel. No, it's A not. Panel is it? show. Panelists. It is. We're going to have some guests. Ooh. Guests. Yeah. Yes. Who would that be? Um, 
Well, we're looking at Mark Dana, you know him. I might have heard of him. He's had a few different names, so we won't give his surname out. Oh, pallet punter. We'll call him Pallet, pallet punter. punter. I love that. I reckon that, that was, was really a good. One. good. Yeah. yeah, that was the best one. Yep. And also, we're going to uh, highlight Josh, who's uh, J Wood Co on Instagram. On Instagram. <coughs> and we're going to be talking about the uh, the differences between uh, where people learn uh, their particular sub, um, you know, skill sets and that. So, so you're be... talking about um, apprenticeships versus YouTube Uni. Yeah. Okay. Basically, right. it works for me. Yeah. So, you know, I reckon that'll be a good topic because yeah. and the new format, uh, we listen to the people. Mm -hmm. People have spoken. Yep. And we will act. We will. So we've been acting for all these episodes. So. Acting. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to that one, Chris. All right, beautiful. So that's um, so that's, that's a wrap for this one, is it? Yeah, it's a wrap. Okay. So thanks, uh, thanks again for Nathan and Scott for being on the show. Yep. Um, for, and sort of telling us a little bit about themselves. Yeah, yeah, and giving us. Yeah, you know, we had a good. Laugh, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yes. Good time. Yep, no, we had a good time. Beautiful. All right, I'll uh, say uh, goodbye by saying hooroo. And I'll say the same, but bye for now. Introduction. We've got to do the intro again. Oh, I've got to rewrite all this. Hang on a sec. Otherwise. Make sure that's on silent then. I did. <laughs> intro. All right. So we're recording, we're recording. Yeah. Do it properly. There you go. Hey? There you go, DD, then you make up next day. Just having their own little conversation. Just the peanut gallery. That's right. Yeah. Production teams <laughs> working on the next uh, next moves. We're trying a few hand grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're still rolling. Everything you're saying is being picked up here, That's by right. the way. All right. That's right. It's okay. If we'll be held again, it will be a Okay, we are now live, all right? So whatever you say, just, you know what, honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, can be used in the court of law, exactly. You're pretty good at editing out the things you need to edit out. I'm becoming an expert at it now because working with this <laughs> bloke here, <laughs> i got to, I got to learn those skills, mate. So. The actual topic is going to be hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> right. this is a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could go down in history as one of the best shows or a complete disaster. So. <laughs> <laughs>